Hello. Hi guys. This is Donna from Donna's Creative Space. Let me see if I can do this, move things around a little bit. I am here today to um, open up my July paper pumpkin. And today is um, July 24th, 2024, Wednesday. So if you haven't heard, Stampin' Up! had a um, free shipping day yesterday, July 23rd. And because of, remember what happened last week, I think it was, with um, the internet and um, outages and stuff? Well, I guess it affected um, Stampin' Up! too. It wasn't Stampin' Up!'s fault, but it was something to do with um, what happened last week. So anyway, um, I'm going to... They've given us an extra day of free shipping. So today is free shipping. And since that, my... Um, in fact, I didn't change this here. My host code usually goes to the 20th of the month. 20... 20th of the month so now it's going to the 24th because I decided since Stampin' Up! is extending their um, date that's hard to see but um, maybe if I just put it on let's see post-it note so July so till July 24th free card class to go and free shipping from Stampin' Up. All right. Now, Stampin' Up, this is a $75 order. And mine, to get my free kit, was um, a $50 order. If you get if you shop with me and you um, spend $75, I also send you this um, pack of embellishments that go with the cards. So this was my... I'll show you them real quick. They're all packaged. Um, I... I've already packaged a lot of them, but I still have time to add to it. So um, they'll be shipping out Friday. And these are the cards. And you do need the stamp set that goes with them. Did I bring it in here? Yes. Let's see. It's right here. All right. This is such a cute, cute stamp set. It does come with a set of dies if you buy the bundle you get 10 percent off when you buy the bundle with stampin up um but what i wanted to tell you is if you're short on change and you can't afford the bundle or you don't have a die machine and you don't want to you know you don't buy the bundles you just buy the stamp set i've i've cut out everything for you except for the items that you have to stamp and then die cut so these two like what i'm saying is you you would have you'll get scrap paper to cut this to stamp color and then cut this piece out but um you can fussy cut it if you don't have a dye machine um i've already cut these two for you uh same with this i've already cut this and this i've already i've actually embossed everything too and same thing here you'll get scrap paper to do all the little pieces but i've already given you this i've actually i, I embossed i embossed ahead of time and then this one, so even if you don't have the die set, right, I've already cut out the shopping cart. It's like a, a regular silver and then like a darker silver. I don't know if you can see it. It's hard to tell on online. But, whoop. so I've already cut the shopping cart out for you. So sometimes people shop with me and they're not interested necessarily in the... The stamps that I picked so they just take all my pieces and use them to create their own use their own stamp set so but on this one you can figure out what you want to put in the shopping cart you might have like I don't know you could put a dog in there or whatever stamp set you have but anyway so that's a stamps that's the card class to go it comes in a package like this um, it's all um, separated all the card kits are in the envelopes you'll make two of each of these cards and um, you need stamp and blends. It's all in my email that was sent out. If you're not on my email list, you should go to my, um, you could right here, send me a comment. Tell me that you want to be on my email list. Okay, so that's that. Like I said, a $75 order will get the rainbow adhesive back dots to go with it. All right, so I'm ex extending 
my card class to go um, promotion until the 24th. I wrote it on, I changed that to the 24th, but it's hard to see. And this, um, you could scan this QR code and bring you right there. Okay, so that's that. That's that. Let's me put this aside and we are going to open the paper pumpkin. This month's paper pumpkin. Um, let's see. Very excited. Such a pretty box. And this one is called Painted Petals. Ooh. Okay, so we're gonna they give you a gray granite stampin' spot. So I'm gonna grab my gray granite. I think I'm gonna grab my gray granite. Sometimes I don't put these back. Uh oh, I don't know if I have my gray granite. It must be in a box of something. I'll have to look for that. Um, but anyway, so pretty. Hi, Sherry. How are you? This comes in a little box. This, if you're not familiar with the paper pumpkin, it comes in a box every month to you. We don't necessarily know what's going to be in it. It's usually a surprise. And, um, goodness, I wonder where my gray granite is. I like to save the little spots for something else and it's not in my tray so that means I've used it it's out out in the other room somewhere so maybe I will just use I don't know crumb cake instead we'll see what we have to we'll see what we have to stamp but anyway so back to paper pumpkin so it comes once a month I'm glad to see you too, Sherry. Yes, I have had some health issues lately and doing the videos has kind of fallen to the wayside. But things will get better soon. And um, I'm hoping I get back into doing the videos because I miss kind of, I'm, I'm saying the word seeing, but I'm putting it in quotes. I miss seeing you guys. But anyway, so it comes to you every month. You can sign up for one, one, one month, three months. You can do prepaid. Um, and like if you prepaid today for the, the three month, that would get you $75 and you would get free shipping, right? Um, if you did the prepay, actually, you don't have to pay shipping anyway, but you'd get my free card kit because <laughs> if it's over $50. Okay, so. So these come every month. I, I, I keep losing my train of thought, but these come every, that's because I haven't been doing these videos, right? So now Stampin' Up! doesn't print on the plastic. So they give us this um, little piece of paper with everything printed on it, which is kind of nice because I used to have to hold a piece of, this would be black, you know, black writing, but I would have to hold a piece of paper to show you. But now I can show you this. So there's a nice flower. There's a hello, let's celebrate you. You're simply the best. I'm so lucky to have you in my life. Friends like you make life beautiful. And then we have this like kind of, um, what do you call it? Not cross hatching, but like a hatching. I don't know. A little line mark. Diagonal lines together. So just a design, which sounds like it'd be good for decorating things. All right, so that those are the stamps. Like I said, it came with gray granite, and I'm looking all over in front of me, and I don't see my gray granite. I swear, I have been cleaning up my craft room so that I can find things, and I have all my stamps, all my ink pads in one thing, unless it's in a, a bin for while I'm creating cards. That's that happens quite a bit, so it, it, it's out of place because of that reason, because there's no place else it would be except in a bit. All right, so we will improvise. All right, so when you get your kit, it comes with everything you need to create the project. Now, they're not always cards, like um, in, let's see, if you do sign up for Paper Pumpkin, you might want to sign up. So I'm trying to get this straight. I don't know which way to tilt it. Um, if you sign up for Paper Pumpkin by the 10th of the month, you get it that month. And usually October and November are Christmas related Paper Pumpkins. One's usually like gift boxes or tags or something. And the other one is usually Christmas cards. So it's it, if you don't sign up, I have one customer that just signs up to just for October, November, they get those two and then they, they, 
um, stop doing the paper pumpkin because you don't have to. You can pause it at any time. You can sign up, put your credit card on. Um, I put the link in this uh, Facebook um, live. So in case somebody wants to. All right. So let's look at this. So this one here is making nine cards, three of these, each of these designs. They are so, so, so pretty. And it comes with directions and the printed instructions. They got away from giving you written instructions. I guess a lot of people had trouble reading them maybe, or maybe because we are global, this is easier doing like a pictorial directions so they don't have to do it in all different languages but they show you you know you use a stamp spot and you have your the stamp on the, your block and then you put it on the little cutout so it looks like we're gonna have wow they actually cut out I haven't seen this yet so so let me finish with this so you get your instructions there's a ruler along one side in case you need to measure something so a lot of times uh, there's ribbon in these doesn't seem to be in this one but a lot of times the ribbon or twine you have to measure it out so that's handy to have all right so and then oh before I close this up there's also a QR code that you can scan if you need help and there's a QR code to scan which will show you the um, optional add-on items that might be for that kit so here we have um, three dies it says hooray and there's a um, this must cut out I'm assuming it cuts out that flower, the die cut, and then it has the leaf, all right? So it tells you it contains the supplies to create nine cards and nine envelopes. And it also tells you the coordinating colors. Hey, patients, how are you? Um, so this co this coordinates with Clips of Coral, Daffodil Delight, Granny Apple Green, Gray Granite, Old Olive, Melon Mambo, Mossy Meadow, Peach Pie, and Pretty and Pink. So... Those are the directions that come with it. And I'll show you these beautiful, beautiful envelopes. Look at this. Aren't those gorgeous? You know how we like to decorate the envelopes? I mean, I don't care too much when they do the inside because nobody really sees that. Because don't you just rip it open? Unless it's a hand, um, uh, uh, if you're giving the, you know, handing the card to somebody. But I love that they decorated the outside. So there's those in the kind of, that's maybe pink or petunia pop and then here's some that look like clips of coral oh look at these pretty daisies oh this is gorgeous can you imagine sending a an, uh, oh gosh so pretty let's look at the card basis so now it's give us gives you everything like i said everything to create the project and like i said nine cards so we have three this is the back of the card Three. Look at that. It's kind of, I don't know if you can see it on the video as much, but this is very muted. It almost looks like there's a piece of vellum over it. Very muted. So there's three and another three. Look like that. And three more. So pretty. Can you guys see how blurry that is? I mean, it's blurry because that's what how it is, but it looks like it's muted. I like it. All right. So then we have these little kind of cutouts. Let's see, I'm gonna cut one of everything out, I think, as I go through it to save time. Sometimes when I stamp, I do stamp more than one so that it's all ready. I can put everything back in the box and I'll have it, I can put everything together at once. So let's see, so this, oh look, it's already die cut. All our, look at this, this is so cool see that this is great okay so we have these I think I'll just I don't know maybe I'll cut them out I'm trying to decide how I want to do this maybe I'll just do one today okay so I'm gonna cut how come we have one two three four we have three card designs hmm she says to herself all right so I cut all those out <gasps> look how pretty look how pretty all right, be careful getting these out. They're very delicate. So I'm going to do one of each. One. Because I think I'll just make one of each card. Usually I just do one. Sometimes, like I said, I stamp the extras. And then I can put them together later on when I'm sitting watching TV or something. Oh, throw that away. So I'll put these other two aside. So we have the, the die cuts. We actually have the die cut shapes for the words. 
And then we have the collared pieces here. And then we have, let's see. Ooh, this is adhesive. It says tissue tape. Huh, that's interesting. It looks like it's just adhesive strips, right? Oh, the, oh no, look at it is. It's like, um, well, it's like adhesive, but all right, we'll figure out what they tell us to do with that. And then we have, in, also in this bag, are some iridescent sequins in two different sizes. And then we have, oh, mini dimensionals. Love our mini dimensionals. All right, so that's what comes in the kit, enough to make nine cards. So I'm going to take one of each of these, and we will make one of each. Now, when you get your first paper pumpkin, it will come with a, a block, and it will come with a size D block, which is um, this shape, right? But it's not as thick as this. This is the, the D block that Stampin' Up! sells. And um, so in your first block, you'll get a nice skinny one that you can use. And then after that, you just use the same block. But um, if you get the paper pumpkin, you might want to invest in getting your own um, regular block because it's thicker. It has stepping up blocks are nice because they're kind of ergonomic. They have this indentation all the way around the edge for you to put your fingers in and grab them and they, they just hold better. Now, I happen to have a lot of blocks, so I'm going to grab a few of my D's so I don't have to change too many. And we are going to see. We need the sentiments. Let's see. I we we need the. I'm so lucky to have you. Sentiment. What I like to do is put it down, flat, and then pick it up with your block. That way, there's no distortion by you grabbing it, and moving around with your fingers. Okay, so let's celebrate you. Now, realistically, if I was doing this if you have other blocks something you might want to do this one stampin up doesn't sell this is an old stampin up block but i love it for doing sentiment so i'm gonna long skinny sentiment so i'm gonna put mine on that but you can still use your d block that came with the kit and let's see this last one is this one let me see your no oh, friends i wonder why we have Maybe they just gave us the other shape. So this one is that double line. That's that one. And this one, friends, must be this one. Yeah, so this must be the shape for this last sentiment, the one you're simply the best. Um, so you have an extra die cut and you have an extra stamp in case you don't like the ones that um, in the directions. I don't think they put two on a card. Nope, just one of everything. All right. Gee, these would be good for us. So I think I'll put this one. Um, I'll, I'll use a D. All right, so I have three Ds I'm using. And like I said, hmm, I, let me think. I, could, I can't believe I don't have my gray granite out. Maybe I will use... I'm going to use my basic gray instead of the crumb cake because I believe it is for the sentiments. Um, and then on the other ones, I can always use something else. All right, so I am going to pull out my stamp and pierce mat because um, it's a cushion. It's a thick cushion, and when you have photopolymer stamps, it's all you get a better stamped image when you have a cushion underneath you. You could use a pad of paper, um, a, a magazine. You could use really anything like that. Um, just enough for a cushion. So I have my gray granite out. I have my, let's celebrate you. Let's see this. What's the first one we're going to use? The first one is I am so lucky to have you as a friend. Did I, that's the, did I even pick? Yeah, here it is. <laughs> did I not take out the one that I want? All right. So it tells us to stamp on that. Now, the, another thing about this cushion is that it's dark. So when you put your scent, your, your, um, whether it's die cut like this or a label, like a, um, oh, let's see, anything like, I'm looking at my little bin here. So if you had to, if you had to stamp on something like this, sometimes you can't see, 
So it's good to have something dark behind you, all right? So that's another good reason for one of these. All right, so I'm going to stamp this. and It's going to be darker than what they say. Oh, I should have washed this first. Let me do that. I like to wash all the stamps first. That way I've got my scrubber off to the side. That's my favorite way of cleaning my stamps. It's the stamp and scrubber and use a little bit of mist. All right, let's get back to this. Now my head might get in the way. I'm gonna try to stamp this. Let's see, I, haven't, I didn't even practice stamping somewhere. Let me get a scrap piece. I'd like to, okay. All right, so I'm gonna put this on here. Now while I'm here, I'm gonna go ahead, since my ink is open, I'm gonna go ahead and stamp the other items. All right. Um, friends like you make life more beautiful. And then this one, let's celebrate you. This will be a good stamp set for my team when they reach milestones and stuff. Okay, so all our stamping, I think, is done. I think that's all there is to this, but I won't let my stamp pad go too far. Like I said, mine's a little darker because I'm not using the ink that they that came with this. It came with the gray granite, but mine is missing, so I'm just going to go with this. Go with the flow. All right, so we are going to, ooh, let's see. Oh, we're using this tape for these colored pieces. Oh, this is going to be so simple. All right, so let me get rid of this. We are going to use your bone folder to crease. I'm going to crease all the envelopes, I mean, all the cards right now. Maybe we're going to mass produce these. I don't know. So at least we'll just get some steps out of the way. So this red piece goes on this card. Do, 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 do. And that's what we're using this tape for. I guess instead of using your adhesive runner. So if you have an adhesive runner, you can go ahead and, and use that. But they are giving you these sticky strips. Oh, it came off on this, though. So let me see. Maybe I just do this. Maybe I just pulled it off wrong. Oh, that works. And this is going to go right about here. Let's see, down here. Hmm. I don't have grid paper underneath to, so I'm just gonna kinda, ooh, I'm out of the image, sorry guys. I'm gonna kinda eyeball it to make sure it's straight. And then, do, 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 that goes on, and then this goes on top. So this they're telling us to use the mini dimensionals, and they have them just on the flowers. Oh my goodness, it's always hard to get And, oh, they do have one down the bottom, but nothing on the edge, all right? So this is going to go right over the, oh my God, this is so pretty. You guys, so this is just going to get kind of set. Oh my goodness. Look, people are going to think, if you do this one, people are going to think, oh, you know what I didn't do? <laughs> I'm such a goober. <laughs> I forgot to take off the backing. I'm like, why isn't this sticking? You know, I'm going to put one, I'm going to put a couple more. So. Okay. Oh my God, this is so pretty. All right, so that goes like that. Right, I'm going to do, I'm going to do the, um, the sentiment goes next. And they are saying to put it, a, a, um, an adhesive dot right here, I mean a dimensional, and then one on the back of this. So when you turn this upside down, turn this this way, they said to put it over here, okay? See, they even tell you where to put it. See that? You see that? I don't know if it's coming in very strong or not. Take the top off that. Top off this, this will also help. Okay. Oh my gosh, this is so, so you want to put it up a little because we want to see that 
pink strip underneath. Oh my God, this is so pretty. And now we're going to put some, it says two big ones. They're showing two big ones and a little one. If you don't have a take your pick tool, you should get one. I think they're only like maybe $11. And they have putty on one end. The other end has this a pointer and a spatula. And it also ha comes with, when you first get it, it comes with this that fits in here, which has a stylus on both ends, a, a larger circle, a, a ball, and a smaller ball. And it also comes with a second putty head. All right, so that's what the, and that for the price, it it's great. And you use them to lift your, your embellishments off, all right? And um, let's see, it doesn't really just, I guess we just put wherever we want. So two big ones, I think I'll put, I really can't tell where they're putting them. It looks like they've kept them kind of inside, inside and now a small one. See how great this is? I'm gonna put it right up here. I can't really tell where they put one, but okay. Card number one is done. How cool is that? Number two, now we, we kind of know the drill. We just have to see where they, and I'm going to use my, I'm going to use my uh, tape runner just to go faster. And this is going to go right about here, it looks like, right? And then I think what I'll do is I'll, I'll, I'll kill two birds with one stone while I have the dimensionals out. I am going to, I guess one there. I'll do this one too. I'm not even looking at where they put the dimensionals. I just kind of want to even them out so that it doesn't sag anywhere. At least put it on all the flowers. Um, you just don't want them, make, just make sure you, it's somewhere where it's not gonna show. Put one more over here. All right. Now this one is the peach one, so let's get rid of that. And what I like about paper pumpkins is they give you these kits have usually everything's like cut out for you. Sometimes you need a pair of scissors to cut twine or ribbon. Okay, and this, this is going to go off to the left. Like so, oh my gosh, I don't know if you guys can see how pretty these are. Um, and then saying oh I do need these again because they're saying to put a dimensional here and one so oops the way they they have you flip these like this and then they tell you where to put the dimensional see see that one just like that and then this goes over here oh my goodness you guys you guys, this is gorgeous. Oops, did I not, I didn't peel that one off. Didn't peel the label off of that, okay. So pretty, and then we're gonna do these little, oh my goodness, these little pieces are gonna be all over the place. Do you remember, you guys remember Misty? She was always walking around with these, she'd have rhinestones on her, she'd have sequins. Let's see, I can't really tell where they put this one. I think I'm gonna put it, Mm, maybe right there. All right, card number two. And then the last one, we already, oh, we have to do this first. Again, I'm using my tape runner. You can use whatever. You can use the, the tape that they gave you. This is going to go on. Sometimes I use the back of my um, take your pick tool to pick these off seems to be easier. I mean, I have short nails, but still. All right. Oh, goodness. You guys, these are so pretty. I know I've said that, but these, let's see. So I'm trying to figure out how high. Oh, my goodness. Okay, let's see. Crazy. All right, and now, oh, the sentiment. So the sentiment, we're going to turn like this. And they told us to put a dimensional right here. I mean, you can put as many as you want. And then a dimensional. Ooh, we're going to squeeze it right in that corner there. Right? 
I'm going to pick it up over the... All right. And this is going to go here. Like so. I'm telling you, these are gorgeous. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to put one there. It's hard to tell on here where they put them. You have to kind of really look. I think they just put them... So I can see a spot there and there. I'm trying to find the other one. <laughs> Maybe you guys could see it there, there. Uh, one, two. Hmm. I think I'll just put a little one. Oops, I'm getting these little... Um, I'll put a little one. Maybe I'm going to put it right on the daisy. Did I pick up two? I think I... I think I did. I did, I did. Okay. Put one back. Okay. Pretty, right? So let's let's take them all out and we'll grab. So this goes with this one. Right? And then I'll be done with this video. And so pretty. And when you're a Paper Pumpkin subscriber, you can go online and buy the refill kits. If the, you know, sometimes they go really fast, so you have to be quick. But let's see, maybe I'll just do two and then this one like this. But are those not gorgeous? I, I don't know, guys. I think that this is one of their best ones. So you can't get this one because this was July's and you had to sign up by July 10th. But that's the thing is you don't know what they're going to look like. And they're, but they're usually really nice, especially um, the holiday ones. So if you feel like shopping with me, there's my current shopping code. I'm going to keep that open for a couple more days. Um, Z-J-A-W-3-E-J-R. Usually, usually I shut it down on the 20th for my card class to go. Um, but I kept it open through the 23rd because of um, Stampin' Up! offering free shipping for yesterday. And then they had some computer problems because of what happened with the internet last week. So there's free shipping today also. So if you have some stuff that you wanted to order and you haven't gotten it yet, it may be a little difficult. Have some patience trying to place your order. You may have to sign out, sign back in again, and place your order. But... Um, they are giving us free shipping again today. So maybe you did place an order yesterday and got free shipping, and you can do it again today if you want. So, and like I said, if your order, this is free shipping with an order of 75. If you order from me and your order is $50, you'll get my card class to go. If your order is um, $75 to get the free shipping. Now this comes from me. Your Stampin' Up! stuff will come from them. This is what you'll get if you place a $75 order, but this is my card class to go. It'll make eight cards. So hope you have a wonderful day. Uh, take it easy. Stay out of the heat. Bye guys.